Hey guys, it's Kevin Rousseau, and today I'm going to show you how I turned this skate park into a little piece of my imagination. Let's start with this character. The line work is always the first and most important part of my process. I usually start sketching with Photoshop on my iPad because it feels as intimate as a sketchbook. If you like the way the lines look before coloring, you know the piece is going to be good. My next step after creating a base I feel good about is to ink in those lines with a heavier, bolder brush. I'm also obsessed with anime and comics, so those bold lines and compositions have had a huge influence on my style and process. Everything's big and bold and really pops off the screen. I love the brush tool because there's a million different ways to make it your own. I've been working with Kyle T. Webster brushes recently, but the possibilities are really endless with this tool. Next comes color, and this is where things really open up. Like I've said, I'm a comic guy, so big, bold, and bright colors are my jam. But when you're just dropping in neon greens, they can look super flat. So I'll paint bucket in a color and then use the brush tool to add in layers of texture or other images to layer on. You can make it feel more aged and retro. Something like you get from an old scanner makes it feel more tactile. Photoshop can really make whatever's in your head. You can learn regular tools in all kinds of ways and make them your own. You just have to try it. 